Gradex is the graduate exhibition here at Staffordshire University where all of the students come and demonstrate their final year project work, which is work they've really cumulatively worked towards over the last three years um, and is the pinnacle of, of what they're achieving. I wanted to look at whether you could discriminate between different breeds of dog hairs by purely looking at the microscopical features. I did this using basic microscopy um, on 24 different dogs um, ranging from within 11 breeds. The overall conclusion was that you can't discriminate between dog breeds but you can discriminate between different dogs. There's three big areas that can be used. Um, just generally crime scenes, dog hairs found at crime scenes to provide links to witnesses or suspects but also to victims who have been bit by dogs. The chances are that we'll, there will be dog hairs left so that could also trace back that and there's also um, dangerous dogs because the current method is just by looking at the physical appearance. It's not a very scientific approach whereas this could differentiate between a pit bull and potentially a Staffordshire Bull Terrier which is very similar to look at which could get confused. So curcumin uh, is the active ingredient in turmeric. It's what gives it this uh, distinctive colour. Uh, it's quite high in diets in people from India uh, and research has actually been done showing a link between the levels of turmeric and therefore levels of curcumin in someone's diet and the, level, the lowered levels of breast, can uh, breast cancer and other cancers that we see in India. And I found that while it's been found to have these great effects, it's not easily absorbed by the human body. So I found these synthetic versions uh, that are better absorbed by the human body. So this has brilliant implications uh, for the use of cancer. If we then take this and look at this synthetic version and test that in actual people, we might find that this is in fact much better as an antiproliferative agent than curcumin because of its uh, ease of being absorbed, which curcumin doesn't have. So this would have brilliant you know, applications as sort of using it alongside chemotherapy in order to target the multiple factors involved in cancer. I wanted to look at a practical problem and how to solve it with modern technology. The problem with digital thermostats, people don't know how to use them, so they just turn them on and turn them off. And it's not economical, it defeats the whole object of having one. The idea is that if you are anywhere with an internet connection, you can have access to the data from the thermostat in your home. So you would have a specific login, a bit like an email, but it would have all your heating information on. And um, it will learn your patterns for you, so it will know what times you're in the house, what temperatures you prefer, and it's up to you how much control you give it to think for you, and um, it'll hopefully save you money running the heating in your house.